Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial about developing REST API using PHP and MySQL. In this tutorial, we will explain what is REST API and how we will implement REST API with CRUD operations using PHP and MySQL. So first we will know what is REST API. Actually REST API or web services or sometimes we call the REST APIs are a system architecture that define the set of methods to access web services. The main goal of REST API is to create a system that can be used by different clients. Any web services that always REST constraints is informally called REST API. The REST APIs are developed for certain functions or methods that can be used by different clients, different systems, different devices. So their state are transferred, the resource state are transferred with REST API. So now we will proceed with our tutorial that we will implement CRUD operations. As in the tutorial, we are going to implement CRUD operations like create, read, update, and delete method. So we will cover this tutorial with to implement all these methods. So first, we will discuss the database. So we have created a database REST API REST API in which we have created a table items in items table the ID names description price category ID created modify as we have here already we have stored many records so we we will perform our CRUD operations on this table to create a new record, update, read, delete, etc. The structure of our project as we are going to implement functionalities, so we will have a project API. The structure of this like config in which we have created our database dot php file to connect to database a class directory in which we have created a class item dot php and we have a items directory in which we have created a files to perform our CRUD operation like create list read update so this is the our structure we have also created a database dot php that we have already tell you so in which we have created a fun function get connection we have already defined local host database local host db user db password db name to connect to our database to perform operations so now we will discuss our first method create so For this, we have created a create.php file. Here is the create.php. In, in create.php, we have get all post values as is a posted values with create method to create a new record. So here we are getting UI inputted data and then we will check or validate data and then we as will assign to class object and then we will create our create call our create method and we will display messages and return code as by the success of or state of repair like 201 for success 503 and we are unable to create item and if we cannot complete a data not complete then we will return 400 request now is check how we'll implementing our create method in item dot in items class we are creating our 
create meta we here we have implemented inside inside statement with fields and we have also passed question mark as we are here binding values user posted values and execute statement so here is the complete method to create a new record so and now we will check our create method in postman app so here is our create method url or we, we can get from here here, here is our create statement you are like create and now we will post values like we have our data we will pass some raw data like this as we are posting value so we will change our post matter here we have post matter so we have given this value so now we will send data to create a new record here we are we are saying item was created is touching machine so we'll check this in the database now we have we are checking and touching machine created with id 64 so this is the complete functionality and implementation that we have checked on postman app that we are creating a because so we have covered our first part of red operation now we will see the second the read the read method is for reading data like we have a method read so we can get read all data or we can pass id to get specific records so first we will see how we are implementing this method so far read we have created a file read.php in which we are getting item id value if user pass id to get a specific item then we will get that specific item otherwise we will get all data so here our read method that get data as per the user requirement and then the data is stored into array using array push method and then that it returned as a json in code with response for 200 if item not found then 404 will be returned now we'll see how we are implementing our read method in read method we are implementing select statement and getting values as per user requirement so this is and return get result using get result so here is the complete implementation of our read method so now we will check this using in in our postman app so here is our statement read, read url and we are getting results so here is that all data returned if we wish to get desired result for for example for id 64 so if we pass here id 64 then only a specific record will be returned so now we have covered second method read from our CRUD operation now we'll check our update method the update method is for updating existing uh, record by passing record or item id and their fields values so here we have created our update.php method and getting user posted values and validate these and assign to class object then we called our update method and displays messages and return code HTTP code as for the success of request. Uh, now we will see update method. So we have created update method in class item. Here is the update method. In update method, we are implementing update statement with fields and ID for which we are updating. We are here storing all the two of object and then 
passing wine comes from here and returned true and false as per the execution of the statement now we will check our method in postman app here we are passing the our method and we pass values for this like here for method 60 for method 64 so we we are here passing values for id 64 and like we can give here 1 1 1 2 2 2 and we i be put method it for of this so we change our method put and now we will pass this so here the message item was updated so we'll check this in database here we are saying the value updated 1122 was id 64 so now we have covered our method update from our cred operations now we discuss the final method delete so actually delete method is used to delete a specific item using item id so here we have created a delete.php and getting user input id and then we will call method delete and this will messages and code as per the success or failure of the delete request now we will check our delete method so we have created our delete meta in class item so here is the delete meta and we are implementing a delete statement with id and binding items here and we are displaying we are returning as per the execution success or failure so now we will check our method how it is working so we have passed our our delete methods and we are we are passing the values for this so we will pass here value specific value to be like we are we passing 64 we will also use delete method so now we will send request so here is a request the item was deleted we will check for this in database and the record deleted successfully it said no record for id 64 so here we have discussed we have implemented our rest api by developing cred operations like create read, delete and update delete method so i hope uh, we have also checked our functionality with postman app. postman app i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, and it, it, it will be useful for you so you can say this and you can also subscribe our channel for more videos and tutorials thanks